The new PlayStation 5 Pro has been announced, and let me tell you, <laughs> it's it's kind of a mess. It really is. Look, I, I admit I am an X, Xbox guy. I have been for 20 plus years at this point. I've had PlayStations. I've owned PlayStations. I like video games. And I don't talk a lot about video games on this channel. And when I do, I want to make sure that I'm talking about it from a standpoint that makes sense. Because, well, I like to get you know, information out there. I do. I like to talk about things. This whole thing that's really with the PlayStation 5 Pro is kind of ridiculous, though. Look, they announced it, and they're touting a GPU upgrade, advanced ray tracing, and a PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution that takes players to new heights. So let's kind of go over a little bit of it here. You know, they showed a little video. They talk about their upgraded GPU, stating that it has 67% more compute units than the current PS5 console and 28% faster memory. And that's great. Sure, okay. Uh, I, I can understand that. That's good and fun. And here's the here's the thing. Sony's known for doing these pro models towards the end of a generation. That's what they've done for a number of years, a number of generations. They do the pro models. That's fine. But this generation doesn't make sense, specifically with the price point they're trying to go with this at. They talk about advanced ray tracing. We've added even more powerful ray tracing that provides more dynamic reflection and refraction of light. This allows the rays to be cast at double and at times triple the speeds of the current PS5 console. That's amazing. That's great. But what, are you going to do Star Wars Outlaws with that? Like, what games do we need this for? Let, let's face it. The games that are coming out right now don't need this. None of the games that we're seeing out this generation need any of this kind of power. Again, that then takes me back to the price of this console, which is absolutely ridiculous. And again, it says AI-driven upscaling. We're also introducing PlayStation Spectral Super Resolution, an AI-driven upscaling that uses a machine learning-based technology to provide super sharp image clarity by adding an extraordinary amount of detail. I'm sorry, but you look at some of these games that have been coming out recently, I don't want to see this you know, super sharp image clarity on some of these games because it's just not worth it. Yeah, there's a handful of games that have been pretty good, but let's, let's face it. Do we need to pay this type of money for the games that have been coming out? It, it's not worth it. So what is going to be the price? Now, if you haven't heard... In the United States, the MSRP for this console is $699 this holiday season. $700! That is $200 more than what the PlayStation 5 currently is. $700 for a console in this economy is absolutely absurd. And to make matters even worse, their competitor recently announced all these new Xboxes, the Xbox Series X 2 terabyte, a new white 1 terabyte, and so on and so forth. The 2 terabyte Galaxy Black Special Edition is going to be $599, so $100 cheaper than this Pro. And here's the thing. The specs are pretty comparable for the Xbox Series X to the PlayStation 5 Pro. The games that come out, again, aren't going to utilize the pro graphics over the next year or two, if not more. So why are you going to pay that $700 when you can go pay $600 and get a pretty cool looking Xbox right there that's all kind of space galaxy black with the cool little speckles on it? Or you can even pay the $450 and get a one terabyte white, which is pretty nice. All right, that, that, that's if you go the Xbox route, the competitor route, or you could just stay with the PlayStation and go $200 less at $500 and get a regular PlayStation 5. It makes no sense. You take a look at the exclusives that are coming out for the PlayStation. This has the list of the 2024. You know, you had the Final Fantasy Rebirth, the Stellar Blade, the Astro Bots. That's fine, that's cool, but those already came out. So what's coming out after that? Until Dawn, it's a remake. Why? Like enough with these remakes. Silent Hill remake again. 
we don't like enough with the remakes. Give us something that we can actually sink our teeth into that we want to play. All right. But those are already, they've been in the, in the process of being made. Are they going to really use the graphical power of this PlayStation five pro? We got a death stranding two, possibly where winds meet. That's going to be on the PC also. So if you have a PC, just play it on there. Marvel's Wolverine, that's been in development for quite some time. Knights of the Old Republic remake, that's probably never going to happen, let's face it. Fair Game, I, I don't even know what that is. Sword of the Sea, Phantom Blade Zero, those could be interesting. But let's face it, are there any exclusives here that can honestly like get you excited and say, this is a game that's going to utilize the PlayStation 5 Pro at $700? <laughs> like... That is what is ridiculous. That's what's ridiculous. And then you go here and you take a look and you see things like $700 for this experience, PlayStation 5 Pro. <laughs> it's the same picture. <laughs> Comparing the PlayStation 5 to the PlayStation 5 Pro. And then you see the price, $700. And they couldn't include the cheap plastic stand for the console that still can't lay flat on its side. It says vertical stands sold separately. That's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. I don't know. Again, I like I said, I am an Xbox guy, but I will give props when props are due. This is just absurd. Seven hundred dollars for a pro machine that just isn't needed. It's just not needed. It's that simple. It is not needed. But let me know your thoughts. Are you a gamer? Do you like games? Do you play PlayStation? Are you Xbox guy? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Uh, let me know, are you going to pick one of these up? <laughs> I sure hope not. Uh, you can spend $700 in a much, much better way. Uh, plus, Nintendo is going to be announcing a new Nintendo console probably within the next 6 to 12 months. Less than 12 months, I'm sure. Save your money for that. Save your money for that. Anyways, with all that said, I will catch you all later. Later.